Hey YouTube, this is Alexander and I'm back with another tech video. In this tech video, I'm going to be showing you how to install Jelly Shop version 3.0 for the GSM Nexus S, which is based on Android version 4.2.2. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is boot into recovery mode. Next, you're going to want to hit Wipe Data Factory Reset. Now, if you're coming from another ROM, make sure you have that ROM backed up because if you have any issues with this, it's usually easy to go back to the previous ROM, but if you don't have a backup, things can get messy. Now, wipe the cache partition. Go to Advanced, Wipe Dalvik Cache, and hit Yes. Now, go to Install Zip from SD Card, choose Zip, and if you hit the download link straight from your GSM Nexus S, it's going to be down here in this download folder, unless you used Astro or some other file manager to move it. It should be in this download folder. And if you download it to your computer and then drag the file over via USB, it should be somewhere wh wherever you chose to put it. So if you put it right in the root of the SD card, it's going to be right all the way at the bottom. So you're going to see it says Jelly Shot Crespo V3.0 M3.zip. Just go ahead and click that, hit yes, and it'll install. So once it's done, go ahead and hit go back and reboot system now. Now since this isn't my daily device anymore, I can't say whether or not it's going to be stable for a daily device, but the developer of the ROM has said that the, it is stable for daily use. So if you want to go ahead and try it out, do that. As always, they'll make a backup, like I said. And here we are right at the home screen. Now since we didn't install the G apps, you're going to appear right at the home screen. Now I've had issues or it's been kind of weird when it boots up, it stays black for a really long time and then it flashes the Nexus uh, logo. And sometimes it doesn't even flash the Nexus logo. For example, right now as it was booting up, it just stayed black until the until it got to this home screen. So if you're a little worried, don't be. Now if it takes, you know, you look at the clock and it's been about 10 minutes, um, you should probably try to reinstall it or just revert back to the previous ROM. Now I'm not gonna show you how to install the G apps because that's gonna take too long and I wanna keep this video brief. But here are the settings, just as mentioned before in the video, this is Android 4.2.2, and it is Jelly Shot version 3 M3. If you like this video, don't forget to give a like. Subscribe down there. I'll be having uh, more tech videos, iOS and Android. And the download links for the ROM will be down below, as well as the Android 4.2 uh, G apps. There, should, there might be two links. There might be a 4.2.1, which should work. You just have to flash that separately. I had some problems trying to flash them at the same time. Now, when you have the ROM installed, go back into recovery, wipe the Dalvik cache and wipe the cache partition, and then go and try to install the G apps. That's if you're gonna do 4.2.1. Now, I believe there's a 4.2.2 G app floating around somewhere online. If I can find that, I will test it on here. And until the link is up, it'll say testing right where the link should be. So. Either you can hold off on getting the G apps all together or try to flash the 4.2.1s. But as always, make a backup just in case. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.